So it's day three of my retreat, final day. I'm still sick, though I feel like every day I'm getting a tiny bit better. The last two days have been about really working on emotional blocks and different things going on in our lives in that way. And then today is gonna be more practical business oriented. So she kind of works with empowering women and helping them with their next steps in business and in life, basically. It's sort of life slash business coaching with a different flair to it. Anyways, these women have been amazing and wonderful. It'll be, and Gina is incredible. Very smart, very intuitive, kind, um, funny. I have some questions about where I wanna go business-wise and my next chapter and what I wanna do and all that good stuff. Um, you learn so much from listening to other people too. So I'm excited, so I'm gonna finish my hair and then I'll head out. Usually I've been getting like uh, Americano and <laughs> chocolate croissant. I can't do that every day either. Um, but they don't have like your typical eggs or I don't even know what people eat for breakfast other than pastries. This is my clock every morning. It's my workshop. from my final day, my third day of my retreat. And um, wow, it was a whirlwind. I met the most amazing women and Gina DeVee, the one who wrote this book, and she signed my, <laughs> she signed my book, um, is really um, an amazing, insightful, brilliant woman, funny and smart and I don't know, so many things. But I got so much out of the workshop, I was, uh, not disappointed at all. It was amazing and I got a ton of stuff and I just need to sit with it and think about a lot of things. Um, we had a final thing up on the rooftop of the hotel that our workshop was in and we toasted each other with Prosecco and had a final chat and it was really, really sweet. And there's another woman who's staying a little bit longer so we might go out and do some fun touristy things tomorrow because I haven't really done much. Anyways, it was a pretty brilliant workshop and now I have several days left in Italy to not only take in the brilliance and the beauty of Florence but also to let all these words and lessons kind of sink in and so that when I come back home you know there is a change and a difference and an empowerment that I bring with me anyways three amazing days and now I have seven more to enjoy Italy there's a knot in here and I literally cannot get this off my neck and I had all the women try today and they could not get it off my neck. I need to go into a store and have them, I don't know, do something, chop it off my neck. <laughs>